Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Now in this video, we are going to look at management round. Now this will be usually the second round of every interview. Now irrespective of which role you are applying for, it could be for data science or data engineering or data analyst. We have picked the top 25 management questions and we are going to give you with answers. So this will be definitely very useful. So I request each, each everyone to look at every question because every question is repeated n number of times in management round. Before starting, I would just like to introduce myself. Well, myself Santosh, I'm working as a manager at Microsoft and along with that, I'm also taking care of the training part in KSR Data Vision. And I do have around nine years of experience working with data related technologies, uh, including data science, data analyst and data engineering. I have experience around uh, working with around 80 projects in different domains with respect to telecommunication, healthcare, e-commerce and banking. And for the last five years, I've been training people in different technologies. Now, based on my experience, I have received n number of questions and I also take a lot of interviews at my company. That's how we have just collected everything. And this video is prepared uh, for your preparation for a management round. Now. The things which we'll be covering is your management round will be a combination of your tech as well as some of the general question. And the fact is, though you're technically very strong, 30% of the people who are applying for the second round don't clear it. The reason? They may not have much experience to talk about the answers. Let me talk about a Power BI developer role or a data analyst role or even a data engineer role. You may be technically very strong where you can answer all of your questions in the round one. But in the round two, there will be some of the scenarios that will be asked and you may not be able to answer it well. Now, this video will really help you for your preparation. Now, as said, if you see, you have to be very conscious about what you're answering in your management round because this is still an elimination round. Even though you have given your best in the round one, this can still be your elimination. So don't rush up with your answers. So this is some of the tips and tricks which I'm telling before going into the question. So try to be precise and try to make sure that you speak spontaneously. Okay. And whatever you're speaking, just be confident. And one personal advice, be honest. Now that's where you have to score your marks. In case if you have not done on the face, you can tell that you have not done. Right. Let's get into questions one by one. Now we have splitted these questions into both tech and non-tech. Technically, yes, they will start with some small technical questions and then they will move on to a non-technical which I can even call it as a general question. Now I'll be acting like a dual role. I'll be asking the questions myself and I'll be giving the answers myself. So please make sure that you keep a track of who is a panel and who is a candidate. Okay. So the question which is displayed on the screen will be like a panel asking and then I'll be elaborating the answers. So that will be the candidate's answer. Okay. First question. Hey, thanks for joining the call. Can you elaborate yourself or can you introduce yourself? Well, thank you so much for this opportunity. Myself Santosh, I do have around nine years of experience working with Microsoft. Well, I started my career with SQL, then slowly moved on to a data analyst role and then followed by data engineering. Now in my complete project, I used to work with end to end, right from the requirement gathering until report building. So I'm responsible for creating reports and dashboards. To talk about the current assignment which I'm working, I'm working for e-commerce company Amazon. So in Amazon, we actually take off all the data that is coming from different data sources and we collect together into a Power Query Editor. We build the modeling and this is where we just bring on to Power View by using different kind of charts that is available in Power BI. We do, we do reporting and then we take forward to publishing the report. Now. The need of this project was we wanted to create one centralized dashboard and report so that our end users can view the report and make some decisions. Now, this is a small introduction about myself and I'm very happy to explain in detail. Next question. So what is your current role in the project? Well, in the current project, my responsibility is to take care of the end to end activities. I interact with my clients. I get the requirements in the form of documents or email. Then I'll start preparing the design and then we will reach out to certain team for the data. 
especially data engineers. And majority of the time, we build in report building. And we also think out of the box to make sure that we provide the best solution to the end users. Okay. So can you describe your day-to-day -day activities in your project? Well, my day starts with a simple analysis where we'll be working with a report and there will be a lot of ad hoc requests that will be coming on to the plate. When I say ad hoc request, so my client asks, uh, okay, what happened in the last uh, 10 days sales? What happened last one week? Now, let's say we have, start, we have a start of the year, how the sales has been improving or can you compare your last December sales with the January sales? Now, these are all ad hoc requests that we'll be getting. We may not be doing Power BI report for that, at least by using SQL or maybe advanced Excel, we'll try to pull the data and we showcase to our clients. So that is where my day starts. Followed by, we will be having multiple meetings, in general meeting, stand-up meeting, and then we discuss about the blockers, what is the current work we are doing, and always we interact with the team, making sure that if anyone is facing challenges, we try to solve it by using our experience. So that is something which we do. And then followed by, we work with our actual development, that is report building. So this is how my day ends. And it's mainly on the analytics side. Okay. Now, how do you validate your data in your project? Well, uh, thank you so much for bringing up this question. This is very important for every project. It's not about how you build a report. It's about the quality of the report. Now, even if you make a small mistake in the numbers, that can spoil the entire report. So we have to take an extra step and extra precautions in managing the data. And the way I validate the data is, we don't have the source and would have done some calculations or maybe would have written some DAX functions. So our objective is to compare your source and destination. So whatever the data which we are getting the source level, after transformations, we also go and check if the data is matching. My basic way of checking is you pick out one customer, check what is the sales before trans uh, transforming. And again, at the DAX layer, you can go and do the transformations and always try to create a simple table check it and then implement on a larger table. And we can also write some store procedures where we can compare your input and output. So this is how we do it. And basically our objective is to compare your input and output. If there is not matching, then we have to go and research and do a deep dive. Where is the issue? Now, okay. So how do you track your task in your current project? Uh, Usually we get the requirement in the form of a business requirement document or either a functional requirement document. So uh, using these documents, we usually collect all the requirements. And nowadays we have also started using Jira. So Jira is a tracking tool where we can track each and every task, uh, making sure that uh, who has been assigned and what is the estimate given and how long you're going to take to do this work. So these are the few things which we'll be handling and we are following Jira tool for our the project. Okay. Have you faced any challenges in your project? And uh, if yes, how did you overcome that? Well, challenges, yes, uh, we do have a lot of challenges and I'll share you one of the experience which I have faced. Uh, in the early 2021, uh, the team was ramped down and immediately some of the team members were being moved out and it was a very tough for us to uh, fill their shoes. Uh, I would say that the data engineers were very helpful in providing the data for us. But unfortunately, due to the project ramp down, uh, the team was actually shortened from nine members, it became four members. And this was a challenging phase because the timelines very uh, tight. Uh, we have to do the deliverables on time. Uh, but unfortunately, we were not able to do that. So the way we have handled this, though it was not our cup of tea, we have to just jump in in data engineering role. We have to pull out right data from right schema. So we have put a lot of efforts, we extended our time and made sure that the deliverables was on safe place. Now that's one of the challenges which we add, that is data gathering part and that is how we have handled it. And in between we used to also get a lot of requirement changes and this requirement changes, uh, of course, if requirements are changing, your timelines will not change. So that's the one thing about clients. So we need to manage that. So switching here and there between the requirements and trying to manage your clients. Uh, that was the most difficult part. And we have handled it smoothly with the help of team. Now moving on, uh, slowly the shift will be from tech to non-tech. Okay. So in no particular order, we have a set of non-tech questions, 
So please have an eye on it. To start with, uh, what is your strength and weakness? Well, uh, my strength is definitely I'll be confident of the work which I'm doing. And I'm always sticking on to the timelines. I'll be always up to mark in terms of delivering the product. So that is about my strength. And my weakness, yes, uh, I would say that um, definitely, yes, I do have weakness. When I say weakness, uh, overthinking could be one of my weakness. And I do take some extra time in providing the accurate results. Uh, maybe whenever I've even if given a requirement, I usually ask a buffer of two days. Uh, because for me, all it matters is data. I don't want to go with the client with the wrong numbers. I want to go with the accurate numbers. So I take a couple of days extra time in validating the numbers because testing is very important for me. So that is where I pushed by one or two days. Uh, maybe I call it that as a uh, weakness because I take some extra time. But end of the day, it's all about getting the best results. Okay. So how do you overcome conflicts with your client or within the team? Well, uh, conflicts are one thing which happens in every project, but people usually don't showcase that, uh, being at a professional working side. But uh, the way I handle this, uh, whether it is with the team or with the clients, I always give chance to others to speak. Uh, maybe if you have a couple of work that is um, either done by you and your colleague, I always try to have the best solution. Doesn't matter if that has to be my solution. I always support team. For me, team comes first and then the individual. I don't look at the individual performance. I always consider the team. End of the day, it's all about providing the best report to the end users. So in terms of conflict, I give the chance to others. Prove them in terms of a documentation. If let's say if there is a solution, if the two resources has been doing the same thing, I ask them to present, take the best, do the documentation, do the testing. And that's how we handle it. And that's how I do it in terms of conflicts. I try to handle it smooth. End of the day, it's all about a corporate. So you need to be professionally well matured. So that is something which I do for my projects. Okay. How do you get upskilled with the new technologies? Well, this is something which is very interesting because I'm very passionate about technologies. So I always try to find the answers in multiple ways, try to find multiple directions. If there is a problem, I always wanted to reach that problem in a shorter path. And for that, I used to do a lot of research. I read some articles, uh, go with some documentation, and I always keep prepared in terms of updates. And that is something which helped me to solve the problem in multiple ways. And as well as said that I'm passionate about technologies and I always keep updated. I put a lot of efforts in uh, understanding some of the articles, documents, and research papers. And that is how I keep myself updated. Okay. So uh, could you please describe a situation where uh, you had a dif uh, difficult time in your project? Well, uh, yes, definitely. I had a lot of uh, difficult times. So one such was uh, you have to manage both your professional and personal time. So that is something which is uh, there for every individual person. So there could be a situation where you have to manage and you have to plan accordingly. And once it's time back, you need, you will not even get support from the team. You have to put your efforts, extend your hours, uh, put some extra hours over the weekend. Um, that, that's something which I do it. Uh, I'll make sure that uh, for me, project deliverables comes first. And I take one step at a time. I don't prefer multitasking, but uh, I always think about the project and the task and I finish one at a time. So that's how I manage the difficult times. And as said in the previous uh, discussion as well, like uh, there was difficult time in the project where the team was ramped down and you have to upskill yourself. You have to overcome all the challenges. So that is something which I add in my experience. And I just wanted to call that out. Uh, do you work with multiple clients at the same time? If yes, how do you manage? Yes, if, if that is a requirement from two clients, Yes, definitely we have to accept it and we have to do it. Uh, we cannot say no to the other client and yes to the other uh, yes client. Yes to the other client. That's not the way you handle it. You have to manage. You have to manage both, and that's why the company is paying for. So you have to take one step at a time. Uh, check out which project has the um, tight deadlines and which is a blocker. For example, there could be two reports where one report there is only twenty users are who are using, and the other report there are four hundred users are using. So just try to give priority to which one is needed and just take that into your priority list. And that's how I do it. 
do you have experience in handling team? Well, um, I'm not a team leader, but yes, I can manage a team and I have done that. Not a team leader on paper, but yes, I have been responsible for handling the task. I delegate some tasks to juniors and I take care of it. In fact, I will be the person who will be facing at the client. So I'll be responsible for uh, delivering the product. So definitely I take that ownership. And yes, I do have experience handling in uh, with a larger team. Okay. So which process do you follow in your project? Well, in my project, uh, we usually follow agile methodology. So uh, for a couple of other projects, I do have experience working with waterfall, but I also uh, like to work with agile. So Agile is something which happens at every sprint. So each sprint will be like around two weeks or three weeks. So deliverables will be done within two, three weeks. And the good thing about going with Agile is you get a lot of feedbacks in improving the reports and dashboards and according to the business need. So that is something which we follow. And we do also have stand-up calls. Uh, every day we do connect with the team and discuss what is the blockers. We do ask three questions. Uh, what did you do yesterday? What did you? What are you going to do today? And what is a blocker? So those things we will be discussing, and that is something which uh, we will be doing for agile methodology. And yes, that is what we are uh, following the process. And in fact, we also have some overlap time between the clients, and uh, we try to connect with the clients on a daily basis as well. Where do you see yourself in next three years and next five years? Well, next three years, uh, I would definitely want to be more strong. Uh, towards the technological side and being at the technology yes uh, domain knowledge is very important so knowing about multiple domains uh, will be the key factor and that is something which i will uh, be doing it uh, i want to uh, improve my skills over the domain domain knowledge and five years down the line uh, i wouldn't think about future right away uh, i just think one taking one step at a time but if still this question is shooted at me i would say that at five years I would definitely like to lead a larger team and take more responsibilities and a higher role in the company. Uh, why are you leaving your current job? Well, uh, two factors. So one which I would say this, uh, I'm not being that utilized in the project. Uh, I I work for five, six hours, which uh, could I could have done it better. So also the other thing is the work has become stable. Uh, there is no much challenging and uh, I'm a person who likes to solve a lot of challenges and I just wanted to get into a challenging role where I'm technically strong so I want to utilize that skill and that is the one reason which I'm looking for a job change. Uh, this role requires to work in a different time zone. Any concern? Well, not at all. Uh, all of my experience, I work with the US clients and UK clients so definitely there will be overlap and I usually log in at 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock in the afternoon time and extend my work in the 9 to 10. And also there will be always overlap between our time and US time. So definitely time is not at all a concern. I'm ready to uh, work in any shift. That's one of the positive side of my work. Are you aware of the job description? Uh, yes, I have gone through the job description and I was really excited for this role. Uh, because this role requires a lot of analytics to be done into a different domain. And coming from an e-commerce, healthcare and finance, I think this uh, domain could really help me to scale up. Uh, that's one of the things which I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, first of all, thank, thanks for this uh, opportunity on this role as well. Uh, can you tell me a situation where you have committed a mistake and how did you handle it? Uh, well, uh, yes, this is a very important for each and everyone to uh, learn from the mistake. And in my experience, I would not say in the early days, but in the uh, four or five years back where I have working with one of the SQL database and I thought it's a temp table and I really dropped it. Uh, but later I got to know that it's, it's an original table that you have dropped it and uh, the entire report got, uh, I mean, it got affected. Uh, the report did not load properly. Then again, I have to reach back to the production team, uh, raise a ticket. Uh, copy the production data to your development data. So that's one of the mistakes which I did. And uh, yes, I have to face the consequence. I have to uh, face my clients in terms of this. And end of the day, it's all about learning. Uh, it's not about what mistake you make, but it's about what you learn. So dropping a table in the development database was one of the mistakes which I've done. And from then onwards, I was very conscious of 
what needs to be not what need not be done so that consciousness i got from the mystic and uh, from then onwards i take everything very seriously and focused when i'm working for a project uh, how do you prioritize your work uh, for your team and yourself well this is something which most of the uh, uh, employees uh, fail to plan it so what we do in our project is uh, we actually uh, create a list of to do list as said that we start our day with the uh, team meetings so in team meetings i give chance to discuss everyone about their work they are doing and also their challenges who knows a person challenges may be solved by other person in a previous assignment or experience so i would like the entire team to discuss and that will actually solve the majority of the problem and i keep it very short 15 20 minutes of discussion so that they can start sharing the to do list and that's what i do for the team and for coming for myself i always look on to the mails just check which is on priority and prepare a to do list uh, put it in the sticky notes and then uh, solve one by one so that's the thing which i do i'd always start with a complex task first so that you get rid of all the stress and then you come back to the small task and that's how i do it okay so do you prefer individual role or working with a team well uh, both as pros and cons but i have experience working with both as an individual developer as well as a team developer so when it comes to the individual yes uh, you need not uh, discuss with anything you can just take care of your work you need to report only to your clients and you can put your lot of efforts you can just uh, do as per your need well that's an advantage but at end of the day that you will not get some ideas or suggestions from the team so that's a drawback so when you're working with the team you have to always think with the team you should have patience you have to collaboratively work with them and team work is actually what is what why i prefer because Uh, when working for analytics you have will get a lot of chance to think you will have a lot of ideas to share so your suggestions also will be valid so i i usually prefer team work but i am open to work on any role okay so how do you handle stress well uh yeah honestly stress is something which everyone has to overcome in their career path so yes sometimes you will be very much stressed with the uh, hard deadlines and you have to manage your Uh, all the things as a individual as a human being yes you will have stress uh, to overcome that something which is uh, something you need to think and make yourself comfortable so i myself i take a small break uh, come back uh, take a fresh mind and try to solve it so i i always prefer working with gaps it's not about continuously start at uh, work for all eight hours and make yourself stressful i here and there i took take like a lot of breaks and then i come back with a fresh mind and that's how i handle stress tell me one thing which yourself which is not there in your resume so uh, okay most of the things which is there in my resume will be towards my technical side uh, where i do a lot of things over uh, uh the projects but something out of the projects i'm very passionate about sports so i do play a lot of sports to keep myself out of the stress and i also help people in terms of uh, mentoring So that's something which I do outside my work, and that will never be on my resume. If I call one of your previous manager and ask about you, what would they say about you? Um. Well, yes. One thing which uh any of my previous priors or managers will talk about me is, uh, I'm very punctual, and uh, that is something which I keep always in mind. Uh, even when going to an office or attending a meeting, I always be on time. so that punctual thing is one thing which my uh, others may speak about me and the honesty and the work which i do which will be on up to the mark so if if i am doing any work it's why if if i do any deliverables so it's like uh, it it will be up to the mark as per the standard so that is something which i have practiced in my career and that's one of the positive about me how do you justify you are the best fit the other candidates uh well yes uh, maybe you would have interviewed many people for this role but definitely i would uh, justify myself that i'm a fast learner um you give me any technology i can learn in uh, 10 days so that's what i am very good at i do a lot of research in understanding the requirements uh, the usage of right tools the way we have to progress so that is something which i do it and uh, to justify myself i'm uh, i'm known of many technologies i'm aware of a lot of things i try to connect the dots so what is a problem how to uh, do a breakdown and then how to solve each and every problem so this is something which i do it and that's one of my strength and of course that uh, i would justify that i will be the best fit okay 
uh do you have any questions for me uh yes definitely thank you so much for uh sparing your time on asking these questions i'm really glad that you were able to uh i was able to justify all these answers but i still wanted to know uh what type of challenging role i can expect here and I, i'm very much interested in this role so if you can help me to understand uh better about the job and the role uh, i would be really happy to hear that okay now this ends the all the questions now uh you would have gone through each and every question and the way i answer is i'm not prepared honestly this is a something which you have to do it without preparation just keep in a mind what are the situation you have come across and then speak about it the last question is very important don't just say that i don't have any questions okay if you say that you don't have any questions it's like you are not showing interest to your interviewer okay so please ask some questions and always try to talk about positive sides of yourself and especially uh, if they are asking about the negatives you should be able to tell that as well okay so please go through this all these questions one by one i know it's a lengthy video but i would request this will be really helpful and we already have top 25 sql questions top 25 power bi questions and we also have couple of other uh, interview question interview uh, recorded uh, in our youtube so this also will be added to the list so please go through this as said in the beginning 30% of them who are technically strong are not able to clear the management round because lack of answering skills just follow the video write it down and speak it in your own words this should clear 100% the answers which i've said if you all are also repeating in the interview your interview will be cleared with that thank you so much for listening please subscribe our channel we will upload more videos and we also uh, have an another interview round that is coming with a client so how to manage a client interview and that video also will be published shortly thank you so much